Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amgan Shakti and this is part two of the unit testing for for testers. Right in the previous video, we have understood a basic concepts on what is unit test and how we could write some unit tests for the test automation framework. And this is this is another part where we will cover uh, for pojos. Right, I have given an example from test automation framework in the uh, in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you to watch that before watching this right so you could get you could get good idea right pojos is another common thing that we uh, use in test automation frameworks and uh, you might think hey pojos are very simple stuff and what do we need to write unit tests for them right you can call it as bean as well yeah why do we need to write um unit tests for them right i will tell you uh you know how we could write unit tests and uh, i will also tell you when should you write unit tests for pojos and when you should not uh you know uh, so we will learn about all these intricacies in this particular video so without wasting much time let's get to the intelligent and, and if you notice i have a very small um so bean class here or uh or the pojo uh where i have a student class uh with uh, with simple name and id uh variables and then i also use a lumbok here um which basically uh uh you know uh generates all the getters and centers for this for example if I go somewhere here, um, it should it should basically tell me um yeah the D lumbok from here. Uh, so if you click on this, uh, so this is what it has. It has um you know a, a no argument constructor. Um, uh, get a method for all these variables. Setter method for these variables. We have equals method overridden. We have can equal hash code to string. And we have all these methods created um, with simply adding this at, at the right data, right? So, so let's say you have a very simple class like this, and uh, uh, you want to write some some uh, you know uh, uh, unit test for that. So what we do is we'll create a new class and we call it as um, uh, pojo uh, dot uh, uh, runner or whatever or, um, student test. And then we we add the test annotation and void student whatever. Right. So here, um, you know, first step, things first. I will tell you how to write the unit test, and I will also tell you why we not don't need to write unit test for this. Okay. So let's say you want to write a unit test for this. What else you could do is um you could do new student since it has new student right so and then uh, you get an instance of this and you can say you can validate whether the you know the set id method is basically working so for example i i set the id as one to three um and then i also said student dot uh, set name and i said the name was testing whatever um and then i could i could assert this assertions that is coming from here dot uh, assert that I can assert this um, student dot again you can you can validate them individually but if you set these two values you could directly validate the two strings or you know or you could validate student dot uh, you know get id uh, basically is equal to uh, whatever that you set right so if it, if it's the case then you know you could uh, this is this is working fine Similarly, you could write something like this for, for the get name, and they could say testing. And yeah, it should work. Let's try to run the test and uh, this this actually passed and it should pass. So so this is pretty simple example. But uh, you know, it, we don't have to write the unit as for in this case because. You know, this is a simple, plain old Java object, uh, which is very well known. Java developers would have written unit tests for this, and the, we are using data annotation. Uh, even Lombok developers would have written unit tests for this, so you, you don't have to write it. Uh, again, you, instead of validating them one by one, you can also assert by hash to string. But in in general, you don't have to write unit tests for these kind of simple pojos. But instead, you don't have like this, and uh, what you have is. Uh, you have your own uh, implementation. For example, I want to implement an all argument constructor. Um, and then I also want to implement uh, 
some getters and setters, okay, and for both of them, and I, I have some getters and setters, something like this. Okay, so now uh, I could also override two strings, right? So I can also override the two string method. Uh, yeah, and this is the implementation, right? So now I go here for in this case, I can write unit s because I want to do some logic here. If somebody is passing me a name of, you know, null. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to write some logic here. If name uh, objects dot is null name. If name is null, what I'm going to do is I want to do something different. So I want to set uh, this dot name as, as let's say, um, some default value as testing, whatever. All right, if I will throw the exception. So you could, could throw a new illegal argument exception and uh, name cannot be null, whatever. You can do it for ID as well, but you know, you can do this. And if it is not null, you can still go ahead and assign the name uh, equal to name, right? So this is how it could be, right? So let's go here and then let's say um, I have uh, name to string and uh, the value is I into three, then this should work fine. So in this case, what you can do is you can go ahead. This is a valid case. Uh, assert that student uh, has two string, right? And uh, what is the two string? I don't, I don't know, but you know, let's say I run this and I'll get the two string. I, and I could go there and copy paste it, uh, but it, you know, it's okay to, to get the two string from here and put it here. Good. So now I could go ahead and run the test again. So this should pass. So this is how you can validate. Now, uh, student with a valid name, right? And let's say I can replicate this test. I could create one more test. Uh, add the rate test. Uh, white student with null name, whatever. Name as null to throw error. Like you could give more reasonable names. Uh, yeah. Now let's go here and then say new student um, and then null. And then one, two, three, whatever. So now this particular stuff should should throw an error, right? So how do we going to assert this? Again, there is a lot of ways that you could do, but uh, simple among them is um, we have uh, assert that code, uh, assert that, assert throws, right? Assert throws, that's coming from J unit, it seems. So, um, so I want to assert uh, what is the throwable here. So throwable is illegal argument exception uh, dot class. And what is the code that you want to run? So the code is basically I try to create I try to create an instance of this. Right? That's it. Now let's try to run the test and see what's happening. So now the code works again. Why you use J unit here? Because um, in assert J, uh, you know there isn't really good uh, um, stuff to validate. Assert throws throws assert that thrown by is also there. Let's see what it accepts. Uh, should rise throwable. Okay, okay. I think um, should rise throwable. Let's go here and say catch throwable has been thrown. So I don't know where to pass the code. All right. So maybe I will check the usage on how it is, but you know, uh, I use this assault throws and it works fine for me. Like you could also go ahead and explore this or I will cover it in the next video. So this is how you could write unit tests. So the, the reason why we have written unit tests here um, is because um, we have provided our own implementation 
and we want to make sure that this this holds all the time right so that's the reason we have written unit test otherwise you don't have to write unit test for simple pojos or if you are using a pojo with uh, with lombok so the things are pretty simple and it's always going to work so don't write unit test for that right we will see another good use case in the next video and we will slowly move this playlist into much complicated topics like stubbing mocking and all of the stuff but i'll make sure i i'll be you know i'll be giving you very simple examples so that you can understand them in a much cleaner way i'll see you guys in another great video until then tata movie from then if you like the video please do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the video thank you bye